Welcome back to Focus Montreal. You are watching the Coach St. Louis Dramatic Society's smash hit Hairspray. The original version won the Montreal English Language Theatre Award for Outstanding Community Theatre. It is now being remounted at the Centaur Theatre later this month. And joining me now, the producer of the show, man who plays Wilbur Turnblad, Mitchell Brownstein, and Alicia Ruiz. Am I pronouncing Ruiz. that? Ruiz. Ruiz? Yeah. Who plays the deplorable Velma Von Tessel in the show. <laughs> Thank you both for coming in. You're welcome. Thank you. Mitch, you were here for the original staging. How excited are you to do this at the Centaur? Well, absolutely excited. We had 19 shows at the Harold Vinceman Auditorium in Cote St. Luke, and we sold out. So we felt after winning the award for Outstanding Community Theater, we would do um, it at the Centaur Theater for the big stage, 422 seats. It's very exciting. It's a great show. I mean, it starts off with a bang, and there's energy all the way through right to the end. And we have a professional team, Anissa Cameron, our director, musical director, David Terrio, and Alexia Gord, our choreographer, make this show just really a professional show. And that's why our, our community theater has become known as one of the best on the island. Uh, for sure. It's a Code St. Luke Dramatic Society. You guys do such great work. You are going to be on stage at the Centaur playing yes. this evil, evil woman. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you said you guys have really become a family since the original staging of this. Huh? Very much. I mean, we, we, I mean, we've we, been together since last March, really, from the start of rehearsals until the end of the show in June. And then even throughout the summer, we kept gathering together for parties. We went to each other there's shows, there's a lot of support, it's great camaraderie, it's a wonderful group of people. And tell me how you feel about getting on stage at that big theater at the Centaur. I'm thrilled, I'm really excited, I was so happy that we had a second life for the show, you know, it seemed too soon for it to finish. Um, and it'll be my first time in a show capacity at the Centaur as well. So Pretty excited. exciting. Well, you've got the chops for it. We're going to have you. a listen <laughs> right now to Alicia as Velma Von Tesla. Have a listen. You just caught with a case of mist. It's amazing. <laughs> this is community theater. I mean, you, you got the, the benefit of a choreographer, but this voice is your own voice. That's incredible. Thank you very much. Mitchell, yeah. how exciting is it when you he see these people who you sort of plucked out for this community theater making these strides? Well, because we're so well known, people come from across the island to audition and Alicia's been studying voice since she was a child, and she's outstanding, as are so many of our actors. Many of them have done a lot of professional work, and I'm sure we're going to see Alicia and others on the big stage and the big screen in the years to come, oh. because they're really big talents. And uh, it's, it's exciting to have that type of quality theater in Cote St. Luke for the residents to enjoy, and now to be able to bring it to the island of Montreal. Yeah, sure. and it was actually me. I saw Catch Me If You Can, and when I saw it, it was I was really impressed with the quality of the show, and that's what inspired me to want to audition for Hairspray. To so, go, oh, yeah, to go to the so Coach at Community yeah. Theatre. Oh, well, what a great move it was. Yeah. The story of Hairspray, too, Mitch, is it's so, this is why people catch on to it. I mean, we loved the movie with John Travolta, and this is a great restaging of that. Tell us why the story is so important to people. Well, well, I play the dad, Wilbur, and I see the world, as my daughter does, as, as a place where we're tolerant and we accept people that are different. My wife has a weight problem, as my, does my daughter, and um, I encourage my daughter to pursue her dream and get on the Corny Collins show even though she's heavy and in fact she goes a step further and wants integration on the Corny Collins show because Negro Day is only one day a month and she feels it should be every day so I mean the themes are really wonderful and that's why it's a show that's great for kids all the, like five-year-olds all the way to 105 year old as a matter of fact we have a 108 year old that comes every year Hundred and eight times. Yes. And we have to get that person on for an interview. Absolutely. That would be fun. Um, and you play, of course, this character who wants to dash those dreams. Yes. And, uh, how? I mean, you're a lovely person. Thank I was you. talking about <laughs> the thing when you play a character like that. Is it difficult or is it fun? Well, it's a, it's a challenge. It's both. You know, it's a challenge because you have to find something you like about every character that you play. And I think for for Velma, the thing is that she she's just fears change. You know, and I think the the show really talks about how well change doesn't have to be scary you know it does uh, there's room for everyone you know but she's fought hard to get where she is she's the producer of the Corny Collins show which if you think as a woman in the 1960s you know it's, it's kind of remarkable and she now that she has some power maybe she just doesn't want to let go of it so mm -hmm. the place I found to identify with her is just like yeah maybe she's just a little bit holding on to her ways you know and, and she's a, a little bit concerned and she kind of 
is the caricature of racism for the, for this show, you know. But um, you'll love to hate me, I promise. I'll, I'll do a good job of being hateable. <laughs> you'll, you'll be hateable. I'll for be hateable. Us? For okay. <laughs> so it's it's a very short staging at the Centaur. So we right. want to encourage people to get their Absolutely. tickets and get out there, right, Mitch? That's right. We're a 32 member cast and a seven piece live band. So it's really going to be a, an amazing show in that theater space. And we encourage people to come. There's only six shows, so tickets are selling out quickly. All right. Well, thank you both so much for coming in. Always nice to see you, Mitch, and it was great to meet you. Thanks a lot. Thank Thanks. You. So we want to tell you how to get your tickets, right? Hairspray is playing at the Centaur Theater. It's only the 21st to the 24th of January. Very few shows, so you can visit the centaurtheater.com for more information or to get those tickets for you.